the best channels for military history and military technology. Obviously, according to my humble opinion. Yes, so one channel that I like quite a lot is Tick. I like it because it's always very detailed. It's always very, very well researched. I honestly don't like Lewis. I would probably won't go out to have a beer with him, but I have to admit that he's doing a damn good job. My favorite military history and military technology channel. Uh, probably military history visualized because no pros, a lot of information, very, very well researched, almost professionally researched. I like both the channels because there are actually two channels, one with PowerPoint and one without PowerPoint. They're basically the same team. I just realized that if you want to publish twice a week, you can put the same production value uh, in both. And actually, the production value is quite a mystery because, yes, I have to say it's very low, but this doesn't seem to detract at all from the channels. Well, a bit mysterious for me. I don't really understand how it, this is going to happen, but good. Another channel that I really like is Kings and Generals. The quality of their production is really, really high. They do mostly animation, but it is definitely for adults, not for children. Quality of the research, the subjects that they cover, well, they're really, really interesting. It's not usual stuff. You really can learn uh, quite a lot. Thumbs up. Another channel that is worth following, that I personally really like, is Mark Felton Production. It has a beautiful uh, retro look, black and whitish. He does, well, history, military history. He's often well researched. The stories are well told, really entertaining and really informative. So, yep, well done. Another very interesting channel that I follow is Dark Docs. They cover often very, well, dark stories, uh, not dark in the sense of crimes, but sort of mysterious, unexplained, uh, terrible somehow. Uh, again, 20th century pretty much, and yes, very interesting, very well narrated. So far about military history, but as you know, the channel is also about military technology, so let's get to military technology channels. Obviously, there are plenty of them, like, uh, like, uh, no, I, I, I know, huh? no, there are, uh, there are, there, yeah, no, there, I'm, I'm sure there are. Um, okay. I was obviously joking. There are actually channels that do an excellent job in discussing military technology. Probably the best one is Real Engineering, which is not dedicated specifically to military technology. But when they tackle the subject, they do an excellent job. So when it comes to military technology, what you have are specialist channels. So no channels that cover everything, but channels that cover a specific aspect. For example, a specialist channel that probably deserves more uh, exposure than it currently has is Red Effect. It's a channel dedicated only to tank technology. It's always well informed and it is showing aspects that, yeah, they are hardly seen on YouTube. So, great job. Another interesting uh, tank specialist is the Scottish Koala that not always but sometimes has very interesting videos about tank technology. It makes probably one of the few on the internet a meaningful comparison between different technology choices. Another very interesting channel is Drachnethal 
which is a naval history channel, but also cause the technology. This is even more specialized because they normally, he normally covers from, uh, let's say, the last uh, period of sail to the end of Second World War. It's a half mystery why it is so successful because the production quality is really, really low, but um, yet yeah, the information is first rate. So, yep, well done. Another interesting channel that deals with military technology is Professor Simon, who he is not a professor, he is actually a documentarist. Apparently, professor is just a nickname. He often deals with modern technologies and kind of the same subject that I covered or that I have covered recently. He's quite interesting, mostly correct, not very much detailed for my taste, but yeah, good. There is also another channel called Matsumus that sometimes, not always, but sometimes does very good videos about the technology behind land forces and land vehicles. Really interesting, but it always publishes at night uh, from the perspective of my time zone. Another channel that is definitely worth mentioning is Aircrew Interviews. It's not dedicated to technology, but they just interview uh, the crews or the pilots of military planes. During the interviews, quite often, the pilots drop nuggets of interesting information about the technology and the tactics behind the actual aircraft employment. And then you have channels dedicated to military hardware, channels that cover a type of plane, telling the story, telling how it was designed, giving a description of how it is built, um, and so on. And then the next video, they cover another one, and the next video, another one. And, or they cover a tank in the same way, and then another tank, and then another tank, and then another tank, and so on, and so on, and so on. And actually, there's nothing wrong with that. They provide useful, valuable, interesting information. I learned so much from those channels. So we have history channels, technology channels, and to be fair, there's a third type of channel, which is the kind of channel that 
deals with military affair, but basically is pushing a political agenda. Uh, I'm not interested about those now. So as you can see, there's quite a large offering of military news, military information on YouTube with different spins, a lot, really a lot of historical channel. I mentioned a few, but I could have mentioned many more. For example, the Armchair Historian, History Marche, Invicta, uh, History with Elbert, many, many more. Fewer channel that try to describe the technology and explain basically what is going on beyond the news of the day. But still, I believe there is something missing. What I think is missing are channels that try to go beyond the news of the day, that go beyond the surface, try to explain the thing under the thing, as someone says. What is missing are channels that try to explain why things are like they are. This is exactly what I want to do on my channel. I try to explain why things are like they are. Very humbly, very modestly, very limited means. But I hope I'm helping someone, some of you, in understanding the world around us. So, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.